So hi guys, it's Shani from Yanomize and today I'm doing a, I don't know if you want to call it a review or a quick drive of this G63 AMG behind me. This car belongs to Crystal Chauffeurs, all their details are down below. We've just wrapped it in satin pearl white, it's got a fantastic number plate as you can see, which I'll talk about it in a minute. Um, I'm going to take it for a drive. A lot of you guys that have been following me for a while know that I do not like the G-Wagons. There's loads of reasons why I don't like it. Let me take it for a drive and I'll tell you. So, I'm driving the G-Wagon. Uh, so what is it? It's a V8, AMG, 5.5 litre, by turbo Sounds good. Fairly fast. I used to have an E63 AMG before. Uh, it's the same engine. Obviously this is a lot bigger, more of a tank. Um, so we're gonna go out, give it a little drive. Um, you guys know that I'm not the biggest fan of G-Wagons. Um, yes, they look great. Let's not dispute that fact. But like even just turning the wheel there, it just doesn't even spin back on its own. It's just, it's a tank. It looks fantastic. I agree with you guys and yes for road presence wow factor you can't beat a g-wagon the shape's been out for god knows how many years now 20 years plus and obviously next year they're bringing out a new shape which is fantastic um however the, i don't know if you can see me bumping around in the car it's just bumpy it's very very tanky turning circles are poor even their has is like bumping around i don't know how well it's showing it on the camera just not a fan really really not a fan people swear by these vehicles they love them more than anything they're like g-wagon is the best car it's the best 4x4 it's the most amazing thing on the planet <sighs> I, don't, I personally don't get it I don't know we're gonna go side roads go down a little bit of a like dual carriageway average So I'm gonna go down the dual carriageway now. Like even just turning the wheel, it just, it just feels very leany, very boaty. Let's... So granted, it is quick for what it is, for its size of the tank, like for what it is, it is quick. Yeah, it's got serious road presence though, that's for sure. Nice wood steering wheel. Black piano. But even like it's just it just feels a bit a bit it's like a hummer, you know like inside the hummer. It's like a very army style. Even down to like look at the lever, the lever on the dashboard. It's not even Napa lever. And before you guys say it, the company that I've wrapped this for crystal. Um, they obviously said to me take it out for a drive so even though I'm bashing the car I'm not bashing their company I'm just bashing G-Wagons as a whole if you guys have been following me for a while you'll see that I've always hated the G-Wagon everyone always says to me get a G-Wagon I'm like don't like them don't like them and this hasn't um, changed my mind at all in any way I haven't driven a G-Wagon in a long time um, it's just not comfortable it's not luxury it's just boring steering it's just not great it's got power steering but it's just it's just me going around the roundabout by the way then you got you got to wind it back the wheel on normal cars it would just spin back automatically you got to wind this back yes it has granted it has got aftermarket wheels on this but i've driven many with just the g-wagon wheels or the amg wheels and it's the same thing so something else i don't like the interior it's it's just cheap and tacky it doesn't like it's got any napper lever in it Granted, you can get some real high-spec G-Wagons where it's got um, perforated seats, it's got the two-tone color inside, um, but I think for like the 120, 130, even 140,000 pound you pay for these vehicles, I'd expect a little bit more. It goes back to the fact, it looks good. It's got a lovely road presence. It has got the wow factor, but it's just not comfortable. I can compare this to say, say my Lambo Ventador. Road presence, wow, amazing. But if I had a choice to drive the Lambo or the Ferrari, I'd much rather drive the Ferrari. Again, more comfortable, it's quicker than the Ventador. Um, you can enjoy. 
enjoy it more. This is just, it's just a tank, look. Just bumpy. I wouldn't want to do a long drive in this, like drive up to Manchester or whatever. I'd much rather sit back and relax. This is not, you've got to be on this. It's like, it's like a beast ready to go all the time. But this car is for rental. So if you contact all the details down below, you can rent this and see for yourself. Listen, if you want to pull up outside a club or you want to profile, yeah, for a four x four, this is the vehicle. If you want to go out with your girl or you just want to go out and just have a nice evening and just feel relaxed driving around or driving up north, etc., this ain't the one for you. One thing, obviously, listen, Mercedes, AMG, get right, is the sound, is the exhaust. You can't beat that. It does sound fantastic when you put your foot down. I don't know, put the window down a little bit. pulling away the front is just all over the place and for a car that's like two and a half tons you'd expect it to sit on the road a little bit a little bit stronger just to give you an idea on the turning circle of this it's just bumpy let's do a three point turn that's your full lock Granted, I'm a good driver, so obviously I can do the three-point turn, but a normal person couldn't. <laughs> Just got to fight with the steering wheel all the time. it's a Mercedes you've got that AMG sound um, one thing that's quite cool obviously the majority of cars the exhaust comes out the back um, but this the exhaust from the side so have a little listen so I'm here filming Chase Troy and Brandon have just turned up look at them so they're three juniors talk to me G-Wagon or SVR no pressure. SVR all day. Why? SVR. No, because I of, think. Are you saying that because Yanni's got one? No, more spacious. It's too square. If it's got to be like this, I think Defender takes one of these all day. I'd have an SVR. It just looks better. Come Which on. one? SVR. Nah. Oh. Forget that it's chrome. Forget that my car's chrome. No, no, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the. Yeah, the overall. SVR. I okay. prefer the look of this one, but I prefer the sound of the SVR. To be fair, I haven't. I haven't and the been way in the SVR one of these. Goes. Haven't been in one of these driving. But that's like a sports car, like proper sports car in the 4x4 version. I, I don't know about that. There you go, you heard it here first. Three junior experts. So, something that's real special on this car is the number plate belongs to God. It's God's car, as you can see. Um, yes, it's not spaced correctly. Yes, the six has probably been played around a bit, not by us, granted. Um, but it is a good plate, nevertheless. In the UK, because I have a lot of um, people that watch the channel from abroad, um, you're not allowed to do this sort of thing. That is actually 60 DS, so that should be spread. So you have a gap in the middle. However, you put it together, it reads God's. So that's a great number plate. We wrap this in satin pearl white. Uh, the original colour was grey and we've left all the chrome elements to keep it more like a factory look car. Listen, looks good, drives like 